Hey guys, Jeremy here. Today I've got a really quick Kydex tip for you. I'm in the middle of a bunch of Kydex right now and what I need to do is make standoffs so that I can mount my belt clips. Now, previously I had showed a way to make standoffs where if you're doing a sandwich style sheath, so you've got two pieces of Kydex and then you're pressing the knife in the middle, you're putting eyelets all around both sides of the blade, I'd show you this little press here, and this thing works really, really good. Still use these all the time. Essentially, you just put your warm piece of Kydex in here, press it, you can hold it in a vise or with a clamp, and then as it cools, it retains that shape. You take that on, you mark your holes, and you can bolt that to your sheath. But what if you're doing a, uh, a wrapped type sheath like this one. Obviously we've only got eyelets on the one side. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to form this standoff in place. I'll show you how I use that. I just use a few pieces of scrap, uh, scrap G10 and I tape them on here and it works really, really slick. And that will allow me to get this clip here in line with the blade. Rather than having to mount it off side like this, I can actually mount it in line with this. And depending on the knife, it gives you a better carry. Now, the knife that I carry all the time, I actually have a sheath just like this and it's, it's worked really good. I've carried it for about three years now, but I'm just gonna show you a really quick little way uh, that I set this up so that we can actually get this clip marked in line and still keep a nice sleek, slim, uh, profile something like this. I mean, it's it's nice and streamlined It's not too thick and if we can get that belt clip right in the middle That's gonna be awesome. So I'll take you over to the vise and I'll show you my setup All right, so we've got our knife in the vise here We've got the sheath on and what this is underneath this tape is just a piece of g10 This is quarter inch you can kind of size it to what to what suits your needs and what I've done is I've actually squared this thing up So it's a nice, you know, it's all even it's a nice rectangular piece and the dimensions are all the same And then I've rounded these corners off. I did it on both sides. You could probably just do one but I did both and then I just tape it in place here and what we'll do is we're going to take our warm piece of kydex our strip of kydex that we're going to use for the standoff which will be this one and we can kind of wrap this around when it's warm pull it nice and tight and then what I do is I've got two more pieces of G10 again this is quarter and again I've rounded these corners off here so that it's smooth and I'm just going to clamp this here and here and then with the warm kydex in there you kind of stretch it and when it's hot you kind of give it a yank and once this is clamped in that will cool and it gives you a really nice tight fitting standoff so basically this g10 here leaves a void you know once this g10 is pulled out of here we're going to have that much room in there and that makes a great distance we can mount our clip here it's not going to interfere with the handle it's going to keep the knife away from the body just the right amount i mean that's kind of a personal preference thing too but at least the handle is accessible and it's not right against your body i find it really useful if you're going to be grabbing the knife all the time you don't want it to be resting against you and you also don't want it like pressing onto your side and kind of bugging you so this is what i do it's a super super quick tip and it works really really good so i'm gonna throw this kydex in the oven and uh, i'm not actually going to talk during this i'll just kind of show you me doing this and uh, we'll show you the results when we're all done So when you open it up like this, you can kind of see the impressions left by the eyelets. And when you take the automatic center punch and hit it a few times, it transfers those as little marks to the other side. So what I can do now is come here and hit these with an automatic center punch. I'll put this back on the sheath. I'll hold it with this uh, little clamp again, and then uh, drill those through and we should be good to go. And after that's done, obviously we'll drill our holes for a clip and we can uh, trim the ends, mount it up.
here is the fin, whoa. All right, so here's the final product. I really like doing this. It's a very, very easy way to get a standoff. It allows you to get your clip nice and in line with the handle. And also we have a little bit of space there so we can actually get the knife away from our body a bit, just enough so we can get our fingers in there, get a grab of the knife when you need it. It works really, really good and it's very, very easy and simple to do. Keep in mind too that this is fully customizable and that you know you could use different thicknesses and material in here. The one thing that I'd say is fairly important about doing it this way is that you do use something on the top here, like with that white G10 that we had. Originally what I had done is I just took some clamps and I clamped it right onto the Kydex. And the issue with that is that it leaves kind of weird impressions from the clamps, but also this line here wasn't always nice and straight. So if we have the Kydex on the inside that's nice and straight and parallel on all the sides, it finishes that off really well. And then when we use the white Kydex in here uh, on this side, it just makes sure that this bend is nice and straight and just kind of gives a very nice polished look. You know, it almost looks like a manufactured piece. Not, not that that's what we're going for, but it's nice just to, to have everything lined up and, and looking really good like that. So that's pretty much it. I was making some sheaths today and I thought, you know what, I may as well roll the camera here and uh, share this quick little tip that I find quite useful, share it with you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. And I thank you so much for watching. Cheers. And now I gotta get back to work.